No way, no how, how can man? I can't forget now. From the beginning of time, my friends like you that helped me to pull through. This crazy world we did, my friends like you will help me know the rules. I say no be time to cry, my tired of being the tell you say not the time to laugh. Time to cut for my damn cash, the more than try to take one or two bottles of beer. So hey, for the difficult times you stood by me to make sure send me a no pressure. Hey, how can I ever forget how we did wrong things then with no cash? Yeah. Believe it or not, I can never forget what we've been through. My guy, nothing to you. No be say, hey. no be say, man, that I know what you're supposed to you're supposed to understand, say, nah, nah, you. How can I ever forget you people that helped me to go this far? It's true. How you encourage me to carry my pen and make out they write my song. Till date, no way, no how, how can I hey, 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 now? Now for this industry, they never born. The guy wake up, say I no fly. When my guy they by my side, they never born. The guy wake up, say I no tap. Happy times are here again, Mr. Daniel. I don't come here to stay. Make me try and reminisce all the things we didn't miss. If no be for this track, we are the mix man. No fee. My dear, Thank you. how was Toronto? Um, Toronto was nice. It was lovely. In fact, it was a very exciting conference. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Look, the shoes all over you. Oh, <laughs> you can say oh. that again. <laughs> it's so nice to be back home. I miss you. And you know, you've grown more beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, darling. God has really been wonderful. Honestly. honestly. <laughs> you know, thank God for this empowerment thing. Yes. Sir. For once, my husband is listening. Ah. You know, before when you're talking, just go on and on and on and on as if, you know, the people are talking about human beings. Yeah. But these days you talk, they listen. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, at that, at that uh, conference, yes. I noticed that every single woman there really. They had something to deliver. They had exactly. something to offer. Exactly. They all had one story or the other to tell. Yes. You know, I learned a lot. I did. I learned a whole lot. Oh. And I'm sure that by the time I'm ready, because you know, I'm really not ready to get married now. But by the time I get, I, I get, I get married, I'm sure I'll be able to put all these things to beautiful good use. Driver, a helping hand. Let me help out. Julia, hmm? come back and sit down again. Mom, you look so tired. I'm tired. Yeah. How's your trip? Fine. Go in there, get me some cold water. Okay. Yeah. Maria? Lois? My dear? Did you say anything? Are you alright? I have a lot on my mind. Did you have a pleasant trip? Yeah. My trip was fine. It would have been better. 
I am thinking on the Toronto resolution on women empowerment, how to em implement them. Mm, I thought that headache should be on Maureen's head as president of the uh, Career Women Forum. I am an executive member also. A lot of things have to change in Career Women's Forum. Is Maureen stepping down? I am stepping up. My dear, I have confidence in your abilities. But I think you should take it easy. What you should be considering now is the family you have left behind for two weeks. You know how much I detest being reminded of my duties. Oh, come on, my dear. I meant no harm. Only teasing you. In line with our Toronto resolutions, we have received a letter from one of our overseas sponsors. They want to assist us establish a cosmetic production training factory and a computer school to train some of our women. With these and other UNICEF projects, I believe that our women are on the way to empowerment. Yes! yes. We're not doing that here. Yes. And we are not doing well either. By the time we finish training these women, they get employment or set up business. Mm -hmm. What next? They still go back home to their husbands who determine how and when to spend their hard earned money. Most times they even help them to spend it and there's nothing they can do about it. Exactly, my sister, exactly. And the women end up glorified slaves to their husbands. Oh. And you call that <coughs> being well. Hmm. Hmm? I believe education and skill acquisition are just the first steps to self-empowerment. Yes. yes. We'll, we'll have to wait for another hundred years then. Exactly. <laughs> Look, our women should be taught to stand up to the men and take their rightful place. That is the only language our men understand. Action. Exactly. Action. Sorry for interrupting, madam. There is a woman out here who wants to see you. For what? Can't you see we are having our executive meeting? I told her, but she insisted. I think she has an emergency case. Uh, let her in. What? Toto Sonja. Come into our executive meeting. They will say we have started. Madam, what is the matter? Good afternoon, Madam. Look at my daughter, please. She was assaulted, <laughs> beaten up, and raped Child. by a rich man's son. Just calm down and tell us exactly what happened. We do respect, President. What are we coming down again for? The monster that did this must be taught never to assault any woman. Yes. I totally agree with you, but let's get to the root first. What root? What root a girl do you want? A girl has just been sexually assaulted, and you're talking about getting to the root. Which root? Lois, I do not understand this aggression of yours. Exactly. I'm not aggressing you. I am not aggressing you at all, at all. It's just that the most Serious offense against women have reported, and you are treating it so casually. Anyway, in my own mind, though, I think whoever did this should be dealt with equal brutality. Exactly. Now you're talking. As a provost of this honorable house, I don't want to remind you again against speaking out of order. What have I done now? You should wait for your turn before talking and sit down after talking. 
Ah. If I'm still talking, then go ahead and finish up so someone else person can talk. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Question, please, Goma. I believe we live in a civilized society. Yes. yes. And uh, we have to do things decently. Yes. yes. You can't just take laws into your hands. Exactly. Okay. President, mm. so it is right for the men to grab those laws and put them into their pockets mm. and rape a girl just like this. I wonder. Mm. Don't pretend you don't know the psychological effect this will have on this girl. Madam Lois, mm. we all know exactly what rape means. Yes. Eh? But two wrongs don't make a right. Yes. We need to seek justice the right way, yes. exactly as the president has said. So the president is right. I have heard that, Stella. You don't need to rub it in. <laughs> the president is right. I'm just worried about the weakness of the leadership of CWF, that's all. But what exactly does the uh, leadership of CWF have to do with this matter, or this rape matter? What exactly, exactly does it have to do with it? No, what exactly does that have to do with it? What? 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 Please, you wait outside with your daughter. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> calm down. We'll sort everything out. We'll call you back in. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? She should wait again. Mm -hmm. I thought she said she wants to do it. Madam, this is not how things are done. Let's call it space. This is not how things are done. We need to be united. We need to be united. We need to be strong. We need to be united. We need to be strong. Sandra. Yes. Agatha. Yes. I call this meeting because my heart is heavy. What I witnessed in the conference in Toronto is a far cry from what is happening here. Maureen is leading the Career Women Forum up the garden path, and that got to stop. Iron Lady, you know that Maureen can change because she believes that men are superior to women and nothing can be done about it. Nonsense. That is stupid. Agatha, you also were in Toronto. Yes. You are a witness to the fact that the world is moving towards women empowerment and equality Obviously. and not liberation. Of course. We are not slaves to be liberated. Unfortunately, we are under the leadership of a weakling who still sees men as overlords. That is unacceptable. You know, I don't know what gives her the guts to think that she's better than anyone else. I don't know. Or could it be because we made her the president of the Career Women Forum oh. and the women leader of the largest political party in Africa? Is that why she's behaving the way she's behaving? Point of correction, my dear. She is only acting women leader. And that is because her husband influenced the party. That is precisely the point. That is the point. If not, she will not stand any chance. That is the point. Our leaders should be women who have worked hard enough to end their positions and not those pondering to the whims and caprices of their husbands. Exactly. And you know what? Because she occupies these two positions, she believes that she has suddenly become the Queen Amina of our time. So every one of us should prostrate, in fact, practically bow down and worship her all the days of our life. It's impossible. Well, that will never happen. Impossible. It can never and it will never happen. <laughs> anyway, Iron Lady, something has to be done and it has to be done fast. Yes. yes. So what, what do we do? My fair ladies. I want to replace Maureen as the president of CWF before she cripples us all. Oh. Iron Lady. Yes, my dear. Iron Lady. Yes, yes. Do you mean what you're just saying? I'm serious. Oh, it took you so long. Ah. I'm Iron Lady. Yeah, my sister. Sandra, did you hear her? <laughs> um, but wait. We have a little problem. Okay. What is it? I already, I think there is a major problem we are not taking note of. What is it? Maureen still has two more years to go. That is why she has to be impeached. Impeached? Yes! 
All I need is your solid support to get other members of the ESCO to pass a vote of no confidence in her. And she ceases to be a president. Why, lady? Computerized woman. <laughs> Where have your supports, lady? I am right behind you. I don't know, do you know what? You know how much I hate Maureen. How I would love to see her bite the dust and you replace her as our new president. You have all my support. <laughs> you can't change. You know now. Wait, 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 wait. My ladies, I want to tell you how happy I am. These are the most encouraging words I have heard in a long time. Oh, yeah. Cheers, ladies! Our yeah. oh, new president. Our new president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Together we stand. Divided we fall. Cheers! <laughs> there are women and there are women. Just like there are boys and there are boys. <laughs> we show them. What? Yes. Oh, no, but don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry at all. Yes, I'll find out and we'll sort it all out. Yes. All right. Then I, 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 well, I'll see you later then. Okay. Bye. My dear, I, I, I have been receiving calls concerning your relationship with Maureen. What exactly is going on between the two of you? I don't understand the question. Who is calling? And what do they have to say about Maureen and me? Mm. People call me to ask me to advise you to soft pedal on your ambition in CWF. I ask again, what exactly is happening? Well, I thought it's an all women's matter. But since you must know, the matter is simple. My fellow women in CWF no longer want the leadership of the current president. They want her removed and a more competent person lead them. Okay? Mm. Well, my dear, I was thinking that um, it would be wise to allow her tenure to expire, then you can aspire to that position instead of creating unnecessary disharmony. And I am thinking that it's no longer like before, where you stored all my ambition and let lesser women take juicy positions just because I obeyed you blindly as my husband. No more. Things are going to be different now. I set up a target for myself and I pursue it a logical conclusion. So my opinion no longer counts? No, no, no. You are wrong. Your opinion counts. So long as it does not run counter with what I want to achieve for myself as a woman, not just a wife. Believe you me, I have a lot to achieve. Toronto was an eye-opener to what women can do. Well, my dear, Whatever it is that uh, you are told in that uh, conference in Toronto, I think should be applied realistically. And um, you should always consider your environment. Please, uh, colleagues, please reserve this your lecture for now. I am late to a meeting, you can see that. <laughs> Lois is planning to have you impeached as our president. It's all envy and nothing else. What will a right-thinking person have against Maureen's presidency? Oh. Well, she says I'm a weakling. That a woman leader cannot be in good terms with her husband and take care of the family. Mm. <laughs> so we must all treat our husbands with disdain like she treats Professor Collins. Such respected gentleman. <laughs> Well, she believes that um, a good woman leader 
must be hostile and uncompromising to men folk. Oh, yeah. But I disagree with that. Exactly. Yes, right. Women's liberation and empowerment is all about understanding our roles as women yes. and realizing our talents and endowments and making sure that there are no hindrances in achieving full, full potential. potential. So, yes. if members of CWF want Lois as their president, so be it. Impossible, Maureen. Who is Lois? After all, didn't she contest with you last year and fail? Instead of accepting it in good faith, she's going around making noise. Listen, Maureen, members of CWF voted you into office and so far we are satisfied with your performance yes. and we will not allow any disgruntled person to confuse us yeah. but the question is what do we do before she confuses if not convince other gullible members of ours no we have to be proactive what do you want me to do start a fight with her or join issues with her besides the only way to treat such uh, people it's just allow them to exhaust their ignorance and make a foolery of themselves. Wouldn't that approach be rather risky? You know, some of our members are quite gullible. And like I said, we need to be real proactive. How? Good. You know, since we know some of these key members who are so little behind her, try and invite them over so that we can win them to our side. No way. It is useless trying to win people who hate your guts. Besides, you will give the impression that you are desperate, of which I am not. I agree totally with Maureen. I think we should just wait and see the angle she's coming from. Okay. Besides, I heard she is planning to launch her campaign in this forthcoming meeting. To use the meeting to launch her campaign. Oh. <laughs> mm. I wish you were well. <laughs> I don't know why this party should treat me so shabbily. I don't understand, Mrs. God. You do understand me. Mr. Chairman, I have put in so much into the success of this great party, yet I have not received any relevant position of leadership. All of us have put so much, Mrs. Collins. Besides, positions are based on merit and absolute loyalty. I take that as a letdown, Mr. Chairman. I hold a master's degree in public administration and I've served in uncountable leadership positions. How can anyone suggest that I'm not competent enough to hold any reasonable position in this country? Or is it because I'm a woman? No, 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 no. far from it. We don't practice gender discrimination in this party, of which you know. We even go ahead to encourage women to participate in politics. I have not seen any evidence to that, Mr. Chairman. Of course. There are a good number of women of repute who are holding sensitive leadership positions in this government. And were all nominated by our great party. Of course. Women you can easily manipulate, isn't it? Why real women like me are kept out of the scheme of things. Maybe you don't know, Mr. Chairman. I have enormous influence over the women of this great party. And I'm sure you know how important our position can be in the next election. So, if I may ask, what exactly do you want? When you are talking, you see, Mr. Chairman, I want to take over the leadership of the women's wing of this great party. But I understand that the women are already rooting for Maureen, who is currently holding that position in an acting capacity. I'm not a fool, Mr. Chairman. I can't be fooled. Nobody occupies any reasonable position without your caucus approval. I want that position. And I'm sure you can make things happen if you want to. And if you do, I owe you a huge debt. Well, I appreciate your zeal to get things going. I will mention it at the caucus meeting tomorrow and also ensure that it receives a favorable consideration. Good. Is that okay by you? That's very much okay by me, Mr. Chairman. <laughs>
Thank you very much. I knew I could always count the on you. Powerful woman, <laughs> you too. You're powerful. Mrs. Collins. <laughs> I'll be seeing you again. No problem. Very you, soon. you have a mission to show. Yes. Have you heard that Lois has been made women leader of the party? How come? Is that why you're agitated? The chairman called to seek my opinion and I told him that I'll be glad to be relieved. So it's no big deal. As a matter of fact, it will afford me enough time to take care of my family. But she's going around saying that you're incapable of mobilizing the women and that she, she was begged to accept the position. That's Lois for you. On the contrary, I'm quite aware of the fact that she's been lobbying desperately for that position for some time now. And you didn't do anything about it? What did you want me to do? Join issues with Lois? She's beneath me. Besides, we're not of the same breed. And what's the only thing I derived from that office was what sacrifice and pressure. So, let her have a feel, please. You know, my fear is that she will use the opportunity to influence the party against you and I. I understand your fears, but from experience, I've also gathered that people like that end up shooting themselves in the leg. Yes, and don't forget that they're dealing with equally intelligent and discerning people. So, relax. It's nothing to lose your sleep over. Mm. Okay, if you say so. Okay, so where were you off to? Oh, I was on my way for a dinner party when I heard the news. So I just had to come and tell you about oh. it. Well, I hope you're calm now. Enough for your dinner party. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but you're looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think it suits me. Thank you. It's nice, it's lovely of you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I'm going to catch my news direct. Oh, I wish you that. <laughs> All right, so you have a lovely evening and enjoy yourself. And thanks for the yeah. concern. Yeah. So see you later. All right, bye. As you're aware, the federal government has uh, released a list of ministerial nominees. Though the names have not been made public yet, we do know that 10 out of the 40 ministerial nominees are women. Oh, that's good. We think this is an improvement on last term's uh, administration, which was just three. So we have decided to send um, a delegation to the presidency to show our gratitude and also tell them that they can do better or they could do better than that. Yes. Yes. yes, definitely. I totally disagree with you, President. This hanky panky beggarly attitude will not help the plight of women. We should write to the presidency and condemn the mega quota of 10 out of 40 ministers. What's wrong with having half of the number? You know, come think about it. Why can't we? Why can't they have 20 men, 20 women? Exactly. At this point, we should be gunning for the presidency of this nation. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Not celebrating a messy porridge. What a shame. Madame Lois. Madame Lois. Yes. Rome was not built in a day, remember? Exactly. What is wrong in, in celebrating our improvement, our achievement? of today and then working harder for tomorrow. Yes. What is wrong with that? What is wrong is that there is nothing to celebrate. Yes. What is wrong is that this leadership is timid and lacks the force to take us to the promised land. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ah. There is no history of human emancipation that has ever succeeded without aggression. Yes. Mm. Look at the French Revolution. The black liberation struggle. The black liberation struggle in America. 
the apartheid of South Africa. I could go on and on and on. The best and fastest approach is an aggressive campaign for equal rights and opportunities with men. My ladies, the only language oppressors here is action. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, one house, one house, one house. One house, one house. thank you, all. Comrade Lois. Thank you very much for that wonderful lecture. I don't know if you have anything at the back of your mind or you have um, an ambition that you are pursuing, but please take it easy on this table. Madam Provost, on whose side are you? Ask her. The weak side or the strong side? And what do you mean by that, Madam Sandra? What I mean is that you are talking nonsense. What? Yes. Speaking with me. Aren't nonsense. Mm. Stop this boot licking for crying out loud. What is it? You think we don't know how you go about scoring favors because of the petty, petty little favors you're scoring? That's why you're here making noise? Oh. Eh? Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, hey. um, my Honorable President, um, with the purpose of me on this of his case, I like that Madam Sandra should be fined 5,000 naira before this meeting can continue. Yes. 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 Yes by cheap sentiments and propaganda. <laughs> I know how much work and sacrifice my executive and I made to get the government to listen and improve on our condition. Suddenly, someone stands here to theorize over an, a, a matter she does not even understand simply because she had the privilege to attend just one convention abroad. <laughs> Madam Sandra has the effrontery to insult my provost, my office, and the entire house. I will not take it. Yes. Yes. I will not take it. She'll have to leave this moment yes. or I leave. The house must choose one. Enough is enough. Yes. Career women. Excellent. Career women. Excellent. My honorable president, Mrs. Maureen Odesi has spoken. Please, if you want our president to leave the hall, could you raise your hand, please? Of course she could leave if she wants. She has to leave. She has to leave. Okay. One, two, three. And if it is Madam Sandra, you want her to leave the hall so that we can continue with our more serious issues. Could you raise your hand, please? Present us yes. on this trip to the presidency. Yes, yes. 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 Sandra, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> Why are I so great to you? It doesn't be really great. It does take it easy. Calm down now, please. Mm. Auntie, can you just imagine? After all the plans that we made, eh? All those people, they didn't even raise their hands so that we can impeach that peacock. 
Don't be downcast, my dear. That is the nature of politics. There are too many cowards in the system. Look, I am the one leading you. Just come along with me as I lead you. Exactly. Don't be afraid. Well, as for me, I am not in the least worried. If the game escapes today, tomorrow is it another day for hunting. So calm down, my dear. Yeah. It's okay, eh? Let us go and fine-tune our strategy. So we can lay a trap so we will not escape. Exactly. Let's get out of here. Okay. I spoke with Professor Collins on the phone today. Hmm. He actually called me. So what did you talk about? Oh, the normal things. Family, business, etc., etc. Then, he wanted to assure me that he had no hands in the hostility of his wife to my wife. Interesting. So he knows Lois hates my guts. Oh, of course. And it makes him so uncomfortable. How sad. Such humane gentlemen. To be saddled with a serpent as Lois. Come on, Maureen. Oh, how could you use such words? For a fellow human being. I'm sorry, honey. But it's just that I'm seriously, I'm getting really worried about this her hostility towards me. Nothing to worry about. Tell you what, the evil does not compete with the lesser birds over dominance of the air. For when the time comes, the eagle soars far beyond their reach. And you are not just like an eagle. You are like the eagle with the diamond ring on his beak. <laughs> flatter me. Go on. Go on and flatter me. No, come on. You know. <laughs> oh. Don't worry yourself. Your men impounded my, 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 my convoy. Eh? And brought us here. What for? That's an insult. I was molested. I refuse to take that insult. In fact, I demand that the main officer should be reprimanded. Uh, sit down, my lord. Sit down. See, the truth of the matter is you are not entitled to police convoy with Siren. What? Exactly. What are you talking about, Mr. Commissioner? I am the women leader of the ruling party. My convoy was approved by the area commander himself. That is precisely the point. It was an overzealous approval, and I am not private to it. See, even ministers today do not use siren. Ministers. If they don't want it, that is their business. Me, I want that convoy. In fact, I need that convoy because I cannot afford to compromise my security. I cannot. Nobody is compromising anybody's security, madam, at this point. See, the law is clear on this. Very clear. As a matter of fact, I am taking this matter lightly because of the profound respect I have for your husband. He was my lecturer. No, 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 no. Placing me under the cover of my husband is an insult to me and I won't take it. I end that position myself, whether you men like it or not. And I refuse to be intimidated by anybody. No man can intimidate me. Madam, please, I would prefer you remain seated. If you say so. Listen to me. This has absolutely nothing to do with gender. It is a new law, and I am here to implement that new law to the letter, to the very last letter, no matter whose ox is God. Mr. Commissioner, I could have just reported this matter to the IG to intervene himself, but I don't want you disgraced. I need that convoy. You see, I have very important political matters to attend to. And of course you know it. The presidency will not be happy with you for molesting one of the prime movers of this ruling party. You know that. <laughs> I refuse to be intimidated, madam. Needless to remind you that I am here also to implement the laws of that same ruling party. And on that note, 
your comfort remain seized by me. And that's fine. Okay. Actually, Maureen, I came to let you know that we at the party hierarchy and the presidency, as it were, have been following your achievements in the field of women development with keen interest. And so we thought that um, you ought to have a formal structure, you know, on which to pursue this logical, uh, this course to its logical conclusion. And so. What that has translated into is uh, that you have been appointed a minister, minister for women and youth development. Darling, um, you're going to receive a formal telephone call from the presidency tomorrow morning. Oh, mommy, oh, grand mommy, oh, oh, darling, oh, thank, you. thank you, sir, hey, oh, darling. God. That's justice. I'm just, just short of words. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> if that, that's a short of words. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Martin. Thank you. Congratulations. It's me, Joanne. I'm okay, I'm okay. Guess what? And, uh, Mom has just been appointed the Minister of you Youth and Women Development. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, no, you can't talk yeah, to her now. She's so happy. Okay, call back, eh? All right, big brother. Okay. <laughs> 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 Mommy, congrats. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. The rest you will, you will hear on the national television news. But we thank tonight. God. We thank God. <laughs> Mom, I just called Martins. <laughs> <laughs> she just called the brother in the UK, Martin, to tell him about it. <laughs> Already? <laughs> oh, oh well, um, just as well, I did the cooking today. I mean, there's powder, powdered yam, a goosey, fresh fish, assorted meat and all that. As if you know I love delicacies like that. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? <laughs> um, my dear darling, please tell the steward to set the table immediately. <laughs> okay, mommy. <laughs> Very hard work, lady. Just like that. She works so tirelessly. And, uh, we uh, I, 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 I looked at the money. We are women in power. Women of timber and caliber. Women that have a say. Yes, the time has come for women to be given the chance in our society to show their abilities, capabilities in daily activities. Yes, the man is the head of the home, but 
behind a successful man, there's a good woman. Hey, I'm women in power. Women in power. Women on timber and caliber. Women that have a say in the society. society. They are women. But you lied to me. Down, you lied to me. Sit down. Sit down. So how did I lie to you? You gave me the impression that all appointment positions had been occupied. Yet you connived with the vice president to appoint Maureen a minister. Mrs. Collins, you sound very funny. I remember I asked you from day one what you wanted, and you said you preferred to be made the leader of the women's movement of the party. And that had been fulfilled. We had to move Maureen elsewhere in order to make way for your appointment. So tell me where we went wrong. Where? You gave her government appointment. A minister with official apparatus. Why I, Law Isobina Collins, should languish at the party secretariat? Mr. Chairman, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Does that then suggest that you are no longer interested in the leadership of the women's wing? I did say so. But I also want government appointment. From where? Anywhere. It's all over. I advise to no. stick to what you already have. No. Hello? For the Vice President, I'll put him through at once. Hello, Your Excellency. Yes, I'm aware that um, he wasn't at the swelling ceremony. But what I didn't know is that he rejected the appointment. It's most unbelievable, unfortunate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I will have to consult widely to be able to get a replacement for that position. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. As soon as that is done, I will let you know. Thank you very much, sir. Bye. <laughs> a ministerial nominee, I mean, a Minister of State nominee for Internal Affairs rejected his appointment. The government <laughs> is shopping for a replacement. Oh, such a man. Why, why the excitement? Uh, I got the wind. I got the wind. You don't need to go far then. I am here, life and direct. Oh, it's a chairman. God moves in mysterious ways. Please, Mr. Chairman, I beg you in the name of God, let me have that position, please. Please. <laughs> Do you realize that a minister of state is equivalent of a junior minister? Of course I know. A minister is a minister, junior or senior. Please, I beg you in the name of God, let me have that position. Please, Mr. Chairman, please. Please. Okay, since you insist, I will have to discuss it with uh, the vice president. No, 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 Mr. <laughs> Chairman. Go straight to the president. Talk with him. He carries more weight. That, that means you have to give us enough time to sort things out. It's okay. I hold you by, okay. by your words, sir. <laughs> of course, I know what you can do for me. <laughs> Thank you very Mrs. much. Mrs. Collins. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. God moves in mysterious ways. Thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> I trust you. I know you'll do it for me. I know God will not disappoint me. I've always worked hard for this. <laughs> Can't 
you hear the phone ringing? Do you want me to leave what I'm doing and pick up the phone? You're closer to the phone now. Do you want this thing messed up? I wouldn't mind. Me, I can't leave what I'm doing to pick up the phone. I just can't. Kelvin! I'm not a so stupid thing you're being. Hello? Why, Why did you take so long to pick the phone? Mom, it's for you. And it's Kelvin's fault. Julia? You were closer to the phone and you refused to pick it. Hello? Oh! Mr. Chairman, good evening. Confirmed? Oh, great. Internal affairs? Oh, that's good! <laughs> I like it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Ah, yes, now you can count on me always. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to you in a big way this time. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Yes. Okay, now, eh? It's all right. Bye. Oh, children. Your mother has been appointed Minister of State in Tunnel Affairs. I'm so happy for you, man. Can you imagine? Wow. Nice comments. Minister of State. The Federal Republic. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Call our friends. Everybody. Tell them. Remember not to call our enemies. Oh. Tell them to come to my house tonight. There's going to be a party in this house. Can you imagine? Woman of honor. Lois Collins. Minister of State. Internal Affairs. Federal Republic. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, I've been it. I've been it. This is great. Oh, wonderful. Ah. Let me see anyone talking to me. Is that my kid? Call it. Louis, sit on the air. Let the world be here. Bring everybody. Look at the call. See the one. Ma, we come to thank you for your goodness to us and all that you have done for us in our life. We didn't know that in this our country, Nigeria, we still have a person like you, whom God is using to solve the poor one's problem like ours. God will continue to bless you and your family, ma. To be candid, 
We didn't know that a rich man's son can be sent to prison. <laughs> you see, we're equal. We're all equal before the law. The wheel of justice grinds slowly, but surely. Well, now you have justice. And uh, Uti, I want you to realize that the greatest justice you can have is being able to put yourself together and move on with your life. Hmm? You understand? Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I'm so grateful, ma. Ma, I don't mind being your servant. <laughs> not to worry, not to worry. That won't be necessary. Hmm? Um, let's see. I want you to come with your daughter to my office on Wednesday. Hmm? And, um... You show this to the security and they will let you in. Mm -hmm. So when you come, uh, we'll try and see what we can do about her education. Oh, thank you, ma. Thank you. Very much for ma. Thank you, ma. No, but to bless you. Bless you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. That's okay. All right, so I shall be expecting you. Thank you, ma. You're blessed for ma. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Bye. Thank you, ma. Thank you. closing time. Why? If you have any problem with that, drop your resignation letter on my desk before the end of today's work. Do you have any questions? And mother, what if one is out on an official assignment before the close of work? That is a very stupid question. Any more questions? No matter, no matter, no matter. Iron Lady, she's an Iron Lady. Iron Lady, Iron Lady, she is the Iron Lady. Iron Lady, Iron Lady, well, well, she's an Iron Lady. Uh, and how did it go? Fine. 
Good evening, sir. Hello. Uh, madam, are we free to go now? No, don't go. Join me in bed with my husband. I'm sorry, madam. Good night. That was impolite, my dear. I think you should be a bit more civil in, in dealing with the, your subordinates. I don't think it's polite for you to insinuate that I'm impolite to my subordinates. Just be a little nice to people working under you. That's all. I don't need to be thought how to handle my aids. That's all. Oh, nice. Chris, what are you doing? Tony, I'm trying to open this door and um, it's difficult. I don't know what's going on. Don't waste your time. The lock has been changed. By who? Who, 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 who changed the door? Madam, of course. But why should anybody come here to change these doors without my knowledge? What is going on here? Well, I bet you should ask the madam. No, 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 for what? I don't understand. What is going on here? Tony, ah, well, what is, what am I going for Madame for? What am I asking her? Just answer. Come, come, Tony, Tony, I need to, I need to understand what is going on. Talk to me, you know, I don't, I don't understand. This is my office, I just went to me and I came back, the kids are changed. Why? It's difficult. Madame is the only person that can explain that to you. I'll see you, Tony. So, come. I went up for an official assignment. I thought I should quickly get there and finish with them on time, so I don't have to go there during office hours. Please call the office and confirm my claims, ma'am. You think you are smart? I give an instruction. You chose to do things your own way because you are a man, isn't it? <laughs> Why should a woman boss you around? Sorry. I have to remain your boss for a very long time. I am placing you on two weeks suspension. But madam, get out of my office. Get out. Get out. name are you still painting? Won't you go and prepare dinner? What? I should go and prepare dinner? Yes, of course. And what's wrong with you? Actually, mommy says you should prepare dinner today. I think there's something wrong with you. As you can see, I am very busy. So if you don't mind, excuse me. Eh, so because you think you're a man, you cannot cook, eh? But when me I cook, you can eat. See, even if I wish to... Don't shut up! All men are born in follow. What's wrong with you? I told you, I have an exhibition by next week. I don't want any distraction, okay? Kelvin, look at yourself. Just take a close look at yourself. All your mates are busy studying engineering, medicine, or law. My ridiculous brother wants to become a painter. How dare you insult me? How, 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 how dare you insult me? What are you fussing about? Anything. That is her! Are you ready to talk? Now, Julia, what is going on here? Just because I asked him to prepare dinner, he practically wants to beat me up. You asked him to prepare dinner? Mommy, Daddy, just imagine that. It's all right. Okay, 
There's nothing to fuss about. There is something to fuss about, what? dear. Yes. How can you be encouraging Kelvin to shy away from certain duties in this house? Is it because Julia is a woman? My dear, these young adults are having a little disputation. You are in one cousin in dispute. I? Yes. You men always want to do the eating and eating and eating. Why do women do the cooking? Why would he cook? <laughs> Lois, I thought you were going to let me handle this matter. Okay. Go ahead. Handle it. Handle the matter. Kevin, when you go on NYSC, Julia will go with you. I'll be cooking for you. And you'll be doing the eating. She'll be doing the cooking. Julia, you are now his cook. So go ahead. you considering my marriage proposal? You keep me hanging all the time. Elvis, dear, I thought I told you before. I don't want any serious commitment now. I don't want anything that would distract me from my studies. Joan, you know how much I love you. I want to marry you. For God's sake, you can be my wife and still be in school. Sweetheart. I'm not really thinking in that direction. You see, any man that is interested in me will have to wait until after my graduation and I'll be ready for the responsibilities of motherhood. So please, dear, if you're serious about me, please wait. Please. You are adorable, Joanne. Thank you. But I don't know if I can wait that long. My family members are already on my neck. Too bad. Just too bad. I can't help it. I can't. Please, Elvis. Try and understand me. Please. It's all right. But you still remain my special friend. Of course. <laughs> I'll see you next week, baby. Yes, sir. I'm walking towards it. No, you are not. I don't understand, sir.
There is only one way people like you can pass my course. How? You scratch my back. And I let my ink flow freely on your answer sheet. Meet me at Diamond Hotel. 8 p.m. Saturday. How can you suggest a thing like that, sir? I study very hard. And I know I'm going to make good grades. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I want to come. Joan. No girl says no to Dr. Lujimi. If I don't see you, consider yourself repeating the cause. And perhaps other allied causes. This is my territory. And I've got to protect it. So, what hotel did you say, sir? <laughs> that is my girl. Diamond Hotel, Saturday, 8 p.m. Remember, don't keep me waiting. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> to me. I can imagine. That's what he does to almost all the girls in his department. Eh? Yet, he is not satisfied. <sighs> now he has picked on the wrong candidate. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't know who you are. Mm -hmm. I wonder what your mom is going to say when she hears this. <sighs> Gloria, I haven't said I would tell her. So, what do you intend to do? So, come to him? Honestly, I don't really know what to do yet. I'm a bit confused. <sighs> I wish my mom were a minister. Honestly, as we speak, eh? That man would have been resting in jail. Day, day. Wow. Wake up! What's wrong with you? I have to do something. Thank you, girls. Um, if I start today, I will know what to do. I hope so. You better really do so. something. Please oh, call this. Good job. Tomorrow is my art exhibition. Tomorrow? Yes. Oh my God. I'm too busy for tomorrow. Your father will represent us. Um, you know that is not in town. He went for a seminar in Port Harcourt. He won't be back till tomorrow or till Monday. Too bad. I've, I'm fully booked for tomorrow. No, I can't go. Mommy, why are you doing me like this? Whenever it has to do with me, you, you give me one excuse or another. You, Mommy, I'm not finding it funny anymore. Then why did you tell your father to, to call up his trouble to protect what and do it? Mom, I, I know if my father were to be in town, he would have supported me. You want me to call off all my ministerial appointments for your stupid art exhibition? No. I am a minister for crying out loud. I have a lot of things to do tomorrow and people are waiting for me and I'll call it off to attend your note. Just oh. as I anticipated. You know, you really should have started for something better. Not painting. Look, I didn't ask for your opinion. Just mind your business, okay? Sorry. But I'm sure you heard her. <laughs> if you had gone for better courses like medicine or law or even political science, international law or yes. engineering. Uh, all that. 
And Would be expecting anybody to come and attend one stupid section of painting. <laughs> but I, I like my cause, mom. I, I like it. Then go and attend your stupid night exhibition. I, I don't. I don't like what is going on, mom. If I've offended you, just tell me. Let me apologize to you. I, I don't just know what's going on in this house. I said I'm too busy. I cannot attend it. What's wrong with that? Mom, you're always busy when it has to do with me, mom. Painting. painting. That's your business. You can go and paint the whole world for all I know. What's all going on is that we have so many paintings. How can you get it? Can you imagine? Look at this. Look at this beautiful one. What am I doing with more paintings? He will become professor of fine and applied arts, just like his father. That means we are going to have two professors in the house. Dad is a professor of psychology, while my ridiculous brother is a professor of painting. You will be speaking long grammar like your father. I just came to have a little good evening with my friend. Oh, that's very good of you. That's very good of you. Thank you. How about your family? Fine, fine. How about yours? Everybody's fine. Okay. Yeah, Senator, I am very serious about that private bill I told you on phone. All right. Uh, I must be very frank with you. Yes. Mm. Drop the idea. It is unnecessarily drastic against men. How do you expect men to react to the bill that threaten their position as the head of the family? I bet you it won't see the light of the day. In fact, it won't even pass through the first reading. There has to be a way to do it. Senator, I want to be the first woman to sponsor and actualize a private bill on widowhood issue. Oh, all right. Uh, it's just, just about widowhood. Of course, I know the burden to press to make it go through. You understand that? Yes. And that will bring to make your dream come true. Of course, yes. But, <laughs> but we have to tamper with it, its content a little bit. Are you serious? Yes. Okay, okay. That settles it then. Okay. I just want things done the right way. Oh, you just trust me. I assure you it will go through. Uh, what about having a drink on me? Ah, uh, no, no. The day is fast, but I'm already on my way. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Come in the door, doctor. Is it doctor? Hey, sure. I should have known that you're such a well-trained girl. <laughs> right on time. Just sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. Thank you, sir. Was it that tall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm. Is this your natural hair? Yes, it is. This Thank is you. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm crazy with ladies with long hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love this. Uh... Wonderful. <laughs> oh. Thank you, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, sir. This is great. This is great. I can tell you, today is going to be very special. Yes, yes. I knew you was not making a mistake. <laughs> I told you yeah. I would call. <laughs> oh, yes, but I wasn't to be apprehensive. You're not looking bad yourself. Oh, if that's a compliment, I will take it. Thank you. I saw your daughter who came yesterday. She's pretty. My daughter? Yes. Where? In her school, of course. Oh, mm -hmm. where? Well, <laughs> I know it. <laughs> What's the connection? Um, nothing much. It's just that an uncle of mine, who is dating her, took me to her school to see her. <laughs> we got talking and she introduced herself to me as your daughter. She's quite pretty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot be wrong. My daughter? Yes. 
Yes. Dating your uncle? Yes. What's what's wrong with it? <laughs> My uncle is so fond of her. Talks about her every time to me. How he goes to her school to pick her up, to spend weekends with him. <laughs> You know, I had to leave them when my uncle was taking her to his hotel room. I had to give them some privacy. <laughs> no, it cannot be my daughter. It cannot be room, can my daughter? The daughter of Dr. Lujimi? No, no, no. There must be a mix of somewhere. It's the same room I'm talking about. A tall, pretty no. girl. I have a number. I even spoke with her before coming here. And I saw your photograph in her camera phone. This is her number. Look at it. Can't you see his number? No, oh, this is incredible. <laughs> but don't worry. I didn't tell her I was coming to see you. <laughs> mm, you know, my uncle loves her so much. Even when my uncle was given a chief dancer title in my village, she accompanied him. <laughs> and they stayed for a whole week. <laughs> they must have enjoyed themselves. Stop. No, no, no. <laughs> Who is this devil uncle of yours defiling my daughter? Why are you so angry, sir? What is the matter? You're asking why I'm angry? Some imbecile is defiling my daughter, and you're asking why I'm angry? But, sir, are you not being a little bit selfish here? How do you mean? You seem not to think I'm somebody's daughter, too. And that every other girl you intimidate into sleeping with you other people's daughter and that their parents will feel this much when they get to know that a man is defiling their daughter on campus. No, no, no. Just stop, stop, stop all this nonsense. Get out. But, but sir. I said get out. I thought we were here for something. I said get out before I go fiscal on you. Get out. Okay. If that's the way you want it. Sir, in your blind lust, you never cared to know who really I am. It took just one of my mother's aid to get me all the necessary information I needed about you and your daughter. Who is your mother? <laughs> That's the question you would have asked earlier. But don't worry, <laughs> I didn't tell her anything. Have a thoughtful day, Mr. Lecturer. So. Okay. The place is ready now. What about the flower I asked you to get for me? Yes, my special request. They are ready now. That's fine. I will come and inspect the place later today. That will be all for now. I said that will be all for now. Honey, my official apartment is ready. We are moving into the place next week. Just like that? Just like that. I just spoke with the interior decorator. He said everything is ready. I have expected it is splendid. I'm sure you will like it. I have no doubt I would like it, my dear. But what is wrong with uh, here? This is our personal house. What is wrong in moving into my official apartment? My entitlement as a minister. What's wrong with that? My dear, if you had discussed it with me, I would have suggested that you collect the monetary entitlement instead of the accommodation since we already have here. Look, Collins, I will not allow you deny me my entitlement with your chauvinistic excuses. I will not allow it. All these years you have dragged us backwards. Now I'm trying to move us forward and you're still pulling me down. What is it? We are moving into that place next week and that is final. If you're not moving with us, you can stay here. The rest of the family is moving with me. What is this? Why are you listening to your shoes?
What is going on, Lois? And who are these men? Darling, since you have successfully connived with my mother to stop us from packing into my official house, I have decided to bring my domestic staff home. Gentlemen, this is my husband, Professor Damian Collins. Please introduce yourselves. Edith Okonsa, the chief cook. Titus Omenka, the steward, sir. Samuel Joshua, the gardener, sir. I am Bayo Adeyemi Koko. The assistants will be joining us later. Meanwhile, they are all at our beck and call. You may take them now to their duty posts. Okay, madam. Uh, gentlemen, come this way. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're bringing these men in to help out in the house. Most, most sincerely. We don't need all of them. Please, 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 don't. Haven't I considered enough? Why won't you let me enjoy the benefit of my status? Why? After all, it is to the benefit of all of us. I know. But you see, we have to make sure that we, while we are trying to get this, we don't injure ourselves. I, I, I think there will be no buts. These men are staying here. What is it? How could you have gone through such an experience without informing your parents? But for your friend, we wouldn't have known that one randy silly lecturer was after you. I'm sorry, Dad. But I thought I could fight for myself. I had this confidence that I could beat him to it. And I think I did, Dad. We're proud of you, my dear. But it's just that it's better to enlist the support of people better positioned to assist in your course. That gives you an advantage. And you can't fight all your life's battle alone. Mm -hmm. We are here for you. Hmm? I'm sorry, Mom. But I'm sorry. I'm proud, very proud of you, after all. <laughs> thank you, Dad. No, oh, thank you. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but remember to always tell us when you are going through such challenges. That's why we are your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I always tell you everything. <laughs> so, How's the day? Mm, so so. And how are you getting along? Mm, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a To, how can I let him know that I like him very much? Julia, mm. you disappoint me. Oh, what have you learned from your mother all these years? And who is who the hell is this man that you like so much as to belittle yourself as such? Forgotten who you are. Priceless jewel. Honorable Minister of the Federal Republic. Look, any man who has any kind of interest in you should be able to prove it with beyond all reasonable doubt. But 
Mom, there's no but. Okay? There's no but. If you give any man easy access into your life, he will mess it up. Okay. Don't ever bother me with such trivial matters next time, okay? I'll go to bed. It's late. <laughs> Men that I know what is your friends that you supposed to understand Say that, not you How can I ever forget the people that help me to go this far? It's true How you encourage me to carry my pen Make out they write my song Till date No way, no how How can man? I can't forget now From the beginning of time My friends like you, they help me to pull through Crazy what we ordain Our friends like you will help me know the rules I say no be time to cry And I have been to tell you say not the time to laugh Time to cack for Madame Cash The more than try to take one or two bottles of beer So hey, for the difficult times You stood by me to make sure say me I no crash Hey, how can I ever forget how we they run things then with no cash yeah. Believe it or not, I can never forget what we've been through My guy, nothing to you No be say, hey. no be say men that I know what is your friends That you supposed to understand, say that Not you, how can I ever forget the people that helped me to go this far It's true, how you encourage me to carry my pen Make out they write my song, till they no way, no how, how can yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. now? Now for this industry, they never born the guy wake up say I no fly. fly. When my guy they by my side, they never born the guy wake up say I no tap. Fly. Happy times are here again, Mr. Nyano. I don't come here to stay. Make me try reminisce all the things we didn't miss. If no be for this track, we are the mix man, no be e. Hey, for the difficult times you stood by me to make sure see me I don't crash. Hey, how can I ever forget how we did?